problem is that you often don't know your friends as well as you imagine. Friends often agree on things in order to avoid an argument. They cover up their unpleasant qualities so as to not offend each other. They laugh extra hard at each other's jokes. Since honesty rarely strengthens friendship, you may never know how a friend truly feels. Friends will say they love your poetry, adore your music, envy your taste in clothes, maybe they mean it, often they don't. And that's the thing, that's so true because if you observe, if you could just watch from above two friends behave and just sit back and objectively observe their behavior and over time, you would see that this, is, this law is very true in the average person because most people aren't honest enough to tell a friend those, these things. Or even anybody just you know meeting someone for the first time, an acquaintance, a new friend. We're too afraid to reveal our true feelings. So this is when it can be a detriment to involve friends in a business. Or that's when going from a friendship to a relationship can be quite difficult. On the topic of favors and friendship, doing a favor for someone and receiving a favor from someone can be of detriment to you in some ways. You just have to observe it. He writes, the receipt of a favor can become oppressive. It means you've been chosen because you are a friend, not necessarily because you are deserving. There's almost a touch of condescension in the act of hiring friends that secretly afflicts them. You know, you sometimes accept a favor from someone or do a favor for someone out of pity for certain qualities in them because you know them well, or maybe because simply they're your friend and you've classed them as your friend, so you have to do them this favor. That can create resentment within yourself. If that person takes advantage of that friendship and asks for multiple favors over and over and takes and takes. As I was saying before with hire, like using friends in business, the problem, with, he write, Robert writes, the problem with using or hiring friends is that it will never be limit your power. The friend is rarely the one who is more able to help you. And in the end, skill and competence are far more important than friendly feelings. So if you're gonna use a friend, in any type of business or any type of formal relationship then you have to really step back and ask yourself whether this person has these skills and competence to help you whether you're just not blindly accepting them just because they're your friend and it's convenient so maybe asking somebody else some another trusted objective third party whether this is a good idea is a good way to avoid that situation